In Perth right now is, of course, uh, none other than the wonderful Christy McSweeney. Lovely to see you. James Ashby, who's very happy that we didn't uh, flash to him 30 seconds ago. Of course, running for uh, One Nation in the seat of Keppel. <laughs> in the meantime, making the most of things in Yapoon. And the wonderful Nicole Flint, who's in Adelaide, who, uh, well, the whispers keep building. She's on her way back, baby! Lovely to see you, Nicole. Lovely to see you. And, well, fingers crossed that uh, something happens sooner rather than later and you're back in the fight and on your way back through Boothby. All right, I appreciate all of you. Did you Sorry. actually want to comment on that, yeah, Paul? I just was being cute. And I was seeing if anyone was going to jump forward. But no, no, fair enough. Uh, play, play it coy. I understand. All right, I'm still, uh, I'm still slightly distracted by James, um, who I'm pretty sure is either wearing board shorts or, uh, well, we've known a lot about him in the past couple of seconds. All right, now, let's get to the I supposed am, hard <laughs> decisions. Well, I've got a pair of bonds that look the same, that's all. Um, I've got... Uh, now, let's get to the, the, the hard decisions which are supposedly being made inside the budget. But as I pointed out, before, Christy, um, the hard decision is that Australia needs to find more revenue to match its spending or it needs to cut its spending. Either way, it creates a political firestorm. Um, I would have used another term at another time, but we all know what that uh, would smell like, right? 36.6% um, is welfare, right, compared to 6% that is the defence budget and so on and so on, as we've seen before here. So I just say all this because we're about to go through this, what, you know, this, this theatre for the next few weeks about all the tough decisions they're making in the budget. Well, unless they're actually dealing with the structural problem of the budget that has us in deficit for the next 40 years, it's all just noise. Well, here's another hard decision for the Department of Defence, and this is little known, uh, but last year the Senate Foreign Affairs and Defence and Trade Legislative Committee uh, launched an inquiry, and that was an inquiry into the Defence Department's capability uh, to support Australia's defence program. Now, that report uh, of that inquiry was supposed to be released the last sitting day, 28th of March um, last week. It's been extended uh, mm, to the 24th of November. Surprise, surprise. Uh, we know that there's been tensions uh, between the defence minister and the top brass of the defence force. They don't need this report coming out, which the government assumedly would shape to say the defence Department can't support the capability to provide an evidence base for cutting further spending in defence uh, so they don't have to cut welfare spending mm. and so they don't have to stop promising people things uh, that really are doing nothing to lift productivity and efficiency of the economy. Yeah, it's this thing, Nicole, where, again, because we have created, put, put frankly, uh, we've created a scenario where wherever government draws a line... There is somebody who is the victim or the loser on the other side of the line, automatically seized upon by an opposition and amplified by a media, which means you don't end up doing anything, yet we play this nonsense where we're going to pretend that, oh, we're making tough decisions right now. They're not. They're not doing them at all. They're just working out how to spin spending kind of last year's money in kind of a different way. Absolutely, Paul. And, look, the... the the scale of spending by the Albanese Labor government mm. is just extraordinary. I mean, what was it, the $1 billion to, to build solar panels here last week that they had to fly up on their private jets to, to the, the Hunter Valley, I think it was, to make the announcement. Um, the, the colossal spending on renewables, on the transmission lines... You know, NDIS, look, everywhere you look, Labor is spending money. So I will be most interested to see whether they think they are actually going to save some money. And Christy was just picking up on the, um, the cuts that Richard Miles seems to be laying the groundwork for in defence. Across the board, this Albanese Labor government is looking more and more like the terrible, failed Rudd-Gillard mm. Rudd governments. And defence is yet another area. Because in the last year of the Rudd-Gillard-Rudd disaster, um, they cut $1.9 billion from defence and they got defence spending overall to the lowest level since 1938. So, you know, you just... You cannot trust Labor on national security 